Field tactics presented by U.S. Air Force. Yeah, in our first example here, we've got a lot of different goals between Dagnolf and Zazinho, but I wanted to showcase something on a corner kick where Dagnolf brings a man short, and I'm gonna call this the corner exchange. So what he's doing is he's basically trading Pele for Van Dyke. So Van Dyke's gonna follow Pele, which puts Van Dyke out of position for the corner kick, and it also opens up the, the bread and butter lane of space. This is always gonna be your money zone if you're whipping in crosses on corners, and Cristiano Ronaldo is saying, yep, I will fill that void, not a problem. And, and Dagnolf is able to get this goal, and it's a lovely header, beautiful finish into the back of the net. But it was all about being able to make that exchange where you had Pele, who's no longer in the box on the offensive end, but you took Van Dyke uh, out of the defensive situation there. So he's not no longer in the box winning those headers, and it's, it's obviously a converted opportunity. And then we're looking late here. This is the last goal from Dagnolf that got him into the, the penalty kick. Um, matchup at towards the end. And I want I want to showcase just the value of the the drag back. It's one of the most commonly used skills, and I would highly recommend having this skill in your arsenal. You need creativity, especially at the competitive level. Uh, you're going to see Hullet versus Hullet, uh, and what he's done here is he's turned his body. He's facing towards the, the sideline. And it's setting up for the perfect angle for a drag back to come back to the inside. We know the majority of goals are gonna come from the middle of the pitch. Whether you're whipping in crosses, you're still whipping in those crosses to the middle of the pitch. Uh, or if you're trying to have that intricate, that tiki-taka, you wanna get back to the middle of the pitch. It gives you uh, a better chance of being able to convert. Goalkeeper can't move quick enough. He converts, and then they go to penalty kicks where he was all, all the way in Zazinho's head.